Remember, I got there kind of vicariously. Right. Because there was no Miss Jamaica at the time. The right. government had stopped it. So, so it as Cindy briggs Bear said, there was no Miss Jamaica pageant in 1976. But why? We have to begin in 1948, when the South African government established apartheid in the country. And so, from 1948 onwards, white and non-white South Africans were segregated, and the majority of Black people in the country faced the most extreme forms of discrimination. However, Jamaica has always spoken out against apartheid. During the 1950s, Jamaica became one of the first countries to ban trade with South Africa. And in the 1960s, future Prime Minister Hugh Sherrill spoke out against the policy. Many other governments and institutions had placed sanctions on the country. So when the Miss World organizers allowed South Africa to send up a contestant, they faced criticism. So what did the Miss World organizers do? Well, in 1970, they allowed South Africa to enter two contestants, Miss South Africa, a white woman, and Miss Africa South, a black woman. That year, Jennifer Hosten, Miss Grenada, won, and Pearl Jansen, Miss Africa South, was the runner-up. And so, throughout the 1970s, Miss World continued to allow the apartheid government to have two contestants in the global pageant. But by the mid-1970s, there was increased state violence against leaders of the anti-apartheid movement. Persons like Steve Biko, Winnie Mandela, and Mapetla Mohapi were all targeted. Then in June 1976, when the state police turned their guns on black students in Soweto, murdering hundreds, there were increased calls for the global community to condemn the apartheid regime. So when the Miss World pageant allowed the South African government to continue to send up two contestants, it was seen as them legitimizing apartheid. And this is why Jamaica joined many other nations in boycotting the Miss World pageant. And so, in 1976, there was no Miss Jamaica pageant. However, an agreement was made for Cindy Breakspear to enter Miss World while wearing the country's sash. And as most people know by now, Cindy won. It's Miss Jamaica. And the Royal Albert Hall is in uproar. Incredible, Cindy Breakspear. Still, the Jamaican government barely acknowledged the win. In December 1976, she returned home without the usual national celebratory fanfare that greets Miss World winners. When asked about her participation, the Gleaner in a December 27, 1976 article reported that Sydney said that nobody asked her to withdraw, and in her view it was not altogether reasonable for other countries to withdraw from the contest because of the participation of South Africa. In her own words, she said, quote, I am strongly averse to apartheid, but South Africa had come to this agreement with Mecca that although this year they sent one white girl and one black girl, next year they would make their contest a truly multiracial one. And this seemed quite fair to me. It was certainly never my intention to go against the wishes of the government. As far as I was concerned, it was part of a personal plan to try to get somewhere in life." End quote. Cindy was correct though, because in 1977, only one contestant was sent to represent South Africa, where their contest was open to all races. Still, the Jamaican government didn't reinstate the competition. So Sandra Kong was selected to represent the country, but she was asked by the government to not go, and she did not. According to the Gleaner in a November 1977 article, Miss Kong, quote, herself believed that Miss South Africa's presence made it impossible for her to continue, end quote. In 1978, Miss World barred South Africa from participating 
And so Jamaica reinstated the pageant. That year, Joan MacDonald was crowned Miss Jamaica. Many considered Joan Jamaica's first dark-skinned Miss World contestant. In years to come, there would be other Jamaican beauty queens who participated in global pageants despite calls for them to boycott the event. For instance, in 2021, there were calls for Miss Jamaica Universe 2021, Dana Suarez, to boycott the global pageant as it was being hosted in Israel. And look how that went. <laughs> 